Prayer is supposed to be an interaction with God, not a transaction with God. If I were to ask you what prayer is, what would your answer be? Well, the simple answer to what prayer is is simply talking to God. That's what it's all about. When you, you, anytime you're addressing God and talking to God, that's called prayer. Now, here's the deal with most of us as human beings. We tend to pray when we're in trouble. Something comes up and we've got a crisis that's going on in our lives and prayer is our 911 call. God, please come and help me. I need you to do something in my life right now. And that's really, for a lot of people, the basic extent of their prayer life. They pray very little. They might whisper prayers here and there, but they really pray. They really get serious praying when they're in trouble. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's a wonderful thing to know that we can go to God when we're in trouble and we can pray. In fact, James tells us if anyone's in trouble, let him pray. Prayer is a very vital response when you're in a troubled time. But prayer is never designed, was never designed by God primarily as a transaction. God, I'm in trouble. I need a transaction from heaven. Come down and fix something for me. Because our God is not a vending machine. And that's the way a lot of people think of God. Well, somehow I I have a need, so I'm going to punch the prayer button, and out will come my answer, and then we're all good. And and, and the only time I'll talk to God or spend any time with Him is when the next situation comes up. Then I'll run back to the prayer vending machine again, and I'll press the button again, and I'll have something that comes out as an answer. And so it's always about a transaction. I need to get something from God. You can have transactions with people without having a relationship with people. You have transactions every day. You go to the grocery store and you buy stuff. You have transactions in various aspects of business. You don't have a relationship with the person, but you have transactions with them. And so oftentimes we can be very impersonal in our relationship with God. We are in a transactional mode. And God says, no, 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 I'm not a vending machine. I'm not just interested in having a transaction with you. I want a relationship with you. I want interaction with you. And so oftentimes our prayers are not answered in the time frame that we want them to be answered because God is trying to teach us that it's not about a transaction. It's about building a relationship. It's about building this interaction with him. This coming May in just about uh, two months time, my wife and I will be married for 46 years. Y'all pray for her. She needs prayer. Okay. 46 (laughs) years. Think about that. Okay. And over 46 years, we've learned something. We're not interested in just having transactions with each other. We're interested in having a relationship with each other. So you never build a relationship on transactions. You build a relationship on interaction. And so prayer is not about getting something from God. It's about consistently interacting with Him.